Howdy everyone, so a couple days ago I did a review of a hammer drill and uh, that is uh, Makita um, 18 volt LXT lithium iron cordless half inch hammer driver drill kit. This one is uh, comes with a battery and a charger. It's an 18 volt cordless um, hammer drill and uh, I bought it because I have a project that requires a drilling of a three and a quarter by 10 inch hole in concrete wall. Um, and that is for our ranch hood. Um, I used it today for probably a full day, but the problem with the cordless is uh, one, it's really, really underpowered and I used almost the maximum size actually the maximum size of drill drill bit for this one uh, to drill through the hole and uh, um, honestly it only drilled about um, at a full charge for the battery it only drilled i think three holes max uh three i guess uh, uh, uh i think the wall is about I guess in total like four or five inches thick so it drilled three holes in the wall before the battery died and uh, another reason I want to return it is because it's actually even though it's a little bit more compact it it takes a long time to drill through the holes and uh, another thing is I guess it's kind of a design floor or it's a problem with the hammer drills at this price range, which is around, which is around $120, um, is that it doesn't have a grip in the front. And you also cannot grip on the back because the venting hole uh, is designed around near or around the back area. So this is also the venting hole. So every time I'm trying to drill, I'm trying to control the hammer uh, drill, I do this and then it actually blocks most of the venting holes and makes the... Um, the drill overheats uh, really quickly and I guess I think that's one of the design flaws that I don't like about this uh, hammer drill and so I'm gonna return this one unfortunately I bought two fairly expensive drill bits as well maybe I'll keep those for just my regular drill um, because it works uh, without the hammer mode as well um, so I have to say goodbye to the Makita uh, tiny compact 18 volt hammer drill. Uh, I think the model number is XPH102. Uh, by the way, even though it, it's, it does, it does very okay, it does fairly okay for drilling holes in concrete. Um, but it works extremely well as a screwdriver and uh, of course a normal drill. Um, in normal drill wall mode, it would last a really long time. So unless you're drilling concrete, uh, if you get this drill, it uh, works occasionally for concrete small holes and um, but it, it excels at uh, all other tasks like um, a screw driving um, or as a regular drill for all different kinds of holes um, with that being said for my project i went ahead and uh, bought this one it's a bosch i think the model number is bulldog extreme max version uh, of the hammer drill and it's uh, the cool thing about this one is it's actually a rotary drill rotary hammer drill uh, it's corded unfortunately but I have um, electricity all around my house so I don't really need a cordless and this would also prevent the problem with that drill which is the battery dies fairly quickly on um, heavy duty use so this one um, it have a whole bunch of features I'll just uh, go through them really quickly uh, kickback control so if it does get uh, binded uh, the the rotor stops uh, to prevent uh, you from getting hurt and uh, of course it's uh, SDS plus which is the standard it's a standard drill bit uh, format uh, with a whole bunch of um, accessories and drill bits and even chisels um, it have the overload clutch. I don't know what it means. Maybe it gives more. Um, it gives more horsepower uh, during hard to drill situations. And the vario lock. 
So I think this one actually have a, uh, a speed control, um, maybe. Um, it's a variable speed from what I know. So yeah, variable speed. So variable lock, I guess it's pertaining to this one, uh, the locking feature for different modes. Um, oh yeah, it is. So it's a number four variable lock. Uh, it works, I guess it should work pretty good. Um, number five is the chisel function, uh, which is just the hammer mode only, uh, which actually, let me go grab my, uh, yeah. put my phone down. I'm gonna go grab something really quick. All right, so um, the reason I bought this one is because I can use the hammer mode with a chisel. And uh, this one is particularly designed for concrete. Um, and this is just a uh, point chisel um, because I have a whole bunch of material that I need to knock out on that hole. I'll show you guys the hole in a little bit and show the progress and what I did with the hole and what tools I, I've used. Um, but uh, let's go through this uh, unboxing first. So chisel function, very important. That's the reason I bought it. Um, number six is the hammer lock. I don't necessarily know I don't necessarily know what it means, but it's right over there. Number seven is forward and reverse. There is a button on top that um, does forward and reverse. Uh, variable speed, of course, it's controlled by the trigger. So the lighter you pull um, the trigger, the slower it's gonna rotate. The faster you pull, the faster it's gonna go. And soft grip, it's a uh, number nine. Okay, so that's the uh, soft rubber grip on the handle and uh, so let's uh, let's open this package and of course the ampage is 8.5 amp uh, 2.5 foot pounds of torque and 4000 bpm and uh, rated maximum speed is 900 rpm so this is uh, for like big drills with low rpms um, it's not a quick drilling drill but you don't need a quick speed for all the rotary hammer actions. Um, the drilling diameter uh, maximum is one and one eighth inch. Um, you can drill a 2.7 inch hole in masonry and uh, if you are drilling steel, uh, you can drill through a half inch steel and that's pretty nice. Drilling through wood, 1.2 inch. And the product weight is 6.9 pounds and in comparison, that drill uh, with the battery is only four point, uh, four point something pounds. So it's uh, it's two pounds heavier, or almost three pounds heavier. Keep that in mind. But the weight also helps in getting jobs done quicker. And uh, so opening the box, um, it comes with a nice nice toolbox as well. So excuse me, I'm gonna use two of my hands. So uh, put my phone down. It comes with a really, really nice box. It looks very slick and uh, also space saving. Um, this box from Akita, it's, uh, it's not very, um, the interior space is not very, it's very efficient. So I can't really put much tool inside. Uh, it have just a lot of grooves and stuff that's blocking um, all the potentials that it could have. So yeah, that part I also doesn't like. So maybe I'll um, hold on or hold off with Makita tools for a little bit um, before I research further. But this one, the Bosch, okay. Opening the box, very nice. So here's the really nice tool. Um, instructional manual. And what's this? I guess the uh, warranty card and registration. Um, not sure what this cloth is for. Maybe it's for cleaning cleaning up stuff. It's <laughs> they give you a white cloth. Maybe polishing, um, possible. So here is a, um, I guess they laid out all the um, SDS plus um, drill bits com that's compatible with this tool nicely over here. Um, and it's all a whole bunch of model numbers and stuff. And of course, all the other accessories, the core drills, um, and comparing the feature of a few of the um, the tools that the um, they carry. That's I think the the most up to date 
once. So um, the one inch rotary hammer, I think that's the uh, 199 version, um, which I actually initially want to buy, but they don't have it in stock. So I just jumped up to this one one eighth inch rotary hammer drill. Um, it have the max feature. I don't know what exactly the max is for, but it looks like they all works for reinforced concrete, masonries, and uh, um, the light chipping action. So it should work just fine. So I'm interested to test the chipping action, of course, because I want a rotary drill and I don't want to buy a separate um, just uh, um, chipping hammer, um, which is, I mean, I have a hand uh, chisel, but this one should work quicker. I hope so. Um, and this one is the, uh, I think, $260 model or $280 model. Um, it features a little bit of different design and uh, uh, the bit size or the hole size is the same. Um, and uh, it's a little more expensive than the, this one I had. Uh, it's about $239 on Amazon. I'll post a link. And uh, of course in here, there is um, the depth gauge and uh, here is the tool so curious what this the thing is maybe I'll find out later okay so the hammer drill uh, oops I can barely hold it with one hand um, in comparison the um, the battery powered one from Makita I can definitely hold with one hand but this one you you need two hands to hold it okay so going through the basic features on the top of course is the um, reverse and forward control this is the trigger and uh, of course the, um, the vario lock as they call it is basically just rotating dial uh, it's got a safety pin so you have to press it to switch to different modes and like that if you don't press it you won't be able to um, move it around so they also of course have a regular hammer a uh, regular drill mode um, but i think for any kind of drill it's probably an overkill unless you get a um i guess a a whole kit if you're installing the door and stuff you can use this to um, drill through woods uh, with um, super ease okay so this is a rotary hammer plus drill mode and that's for drilling through concrete with a drill bit and if you switch to here it's the hammer only mode which you use for the chisels and uh, I'm gonna actually just test it test it in a little bit uh, hopefully I'll have some videos um, if uh, my wife could help me hold it of course you have a nice depth gauge uh, if you are not drilling all the way through the concrete that should help but I think for my chisel I'm gonna take it off don't need it um, and I think another advantage big advantage with a SDS plus bit um, is that it's self-locking it's easily interchangeable and uh, uh, all the bits are actually cheaper than the um, the bits they have for just uh, uh, regular rotary um, drills those bits are more expensive so if you're working with concrete a lot I think the SDS plus is a good alternative uh, for simple DIY projects um, of course if you are working pro you probably need some more models that's some that's more heavy duty uh, for your job needs but uh, again, as I said, for a homeowner, this is probably enough or even overkill. But I'm going to test it in a little bit and post uh, the video for you guys. And uh, we shall come back and update. Okay, so this is a hole. Um, three and a quarter by ten inch. That's uh, drilled with the Makita drill. All the holes you see is drilled with Makita drill. And uh, this area that's being emptied is, um, I used a circular saw to cut through. 
with a few horizontal lines and then I just used hammer and chisel to chip it out and as you can see that area is easy there's no concrete but over here it's poured concrete and there are some rebars uh, the circular saw went through one of the rebar but I think there is more in there and and this just doesn't work and the circular saw couldn't reach the inside um, so that's uh, where I'm gonna, I'm gonna test the the Bosch rotary hammer in um, hammer mode. So I'm gonna use the chisel and uh, I'll start chiseling and uh, come back and do a comparison video. Uh, see if there's any progress done with this hammer drill. All right, so here's the um, rotary hammering action. So I'm gonna do a quick demo. It's very easy to uh, actually put on the chisel. You just push it in and it's, it's locked. You need to adjust, um, rotate the thing to the midpoint and then just twist to the angle that you want and then rotate it back to hammer mode. All right, let's do a quick demo. after about 15 minutes of work and uh, as you can see the Bosch rotary hammer definitely did good work like um, almost on the other side of the wall and if you compare the video a couple seconds ago um, it was still here and uh, it cuts through this like cookies um, it's really really quick and efficient um, there's no no frill it's just like you press the trigger and it just digs in all the way and uh, so I think if you are working um, with concrete you most definitely need a rotary hammer and that saves you days worth of work uh, I tried to use a hammer and chisel and I tried to use a circular saw and I tried to use a underpowered hammer drill with no rotary function and uh, it's just nothing is comparable at all so make sure you guys when you're working with concrete get a rotary hammer and uh, that's the only tool you need and uh, so I have to give a huge praise to Bosch um, and uh, during usage it uh, it definitely it, it has less vibration than my than the battery powered hammer drill I used, and I think they have some sort of um, neat features building that reduces the vibration. So um, this is definitely a heavy duty tool, and uh, I've been using it nonstop. It's it's heating up, but it's not that hot. Um, I'm just gonna cool it down a little bit and then continue working again. Um, and uh, one plus with a rotary hammer that uses SDS it's it's super easy to lock and unlock oh it's pretty hot yeah I need to cool it down and uh, uh, basically you just press this and you can take the tool out and when you install the tool just put it in you don't even have to losing anything it's just like sliding it's that easy um, and uh, it's also fairly quiet like Especially, uh, yeah, it's fairly quiet uh, comparable to the battery powered hammer drill with no rotor function. Um, as quiet and uh, doesn't have as much vibration, and it's probably a hundred times more powerful. Um, yeah, if you guys need to drill holes in a wall, uh, concrete. 
you need a rotary hammer and I highly recommend this one so I guess this concludes the uh, unboxing uh, of the Bosch Bulldog Screen Max uh, one, one, one and one eighth inch um, rotary hammer and uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to uh, ask me in the comments section otherwise thank you so much for watching and uh, take care